offered $100 million. And that's the number that I said to you guys. I said, you know, if Rumble made him an offer, like they offered Joe Rogan $100 million, they obviously got it, you know. It wasn't Rumble that made this offer, though. It was somebody else. But real quick, before we get into that, I just want to say, like I always do, Soul Not For Sale merchandise, it is up. Get your Soul Not For Sale hoodie. It is good to go. We got all sizes for you up to triple X large, I believe. We got the shirts. We got the T-shirts. We got the women's V-neck T-shirts. We got the anti-WEF shirts. We got the hoodies that are black, white, and then we got the long sleeve shirts here. Every single purchase helps us fight demonetization helps us uh, escape the looming threat of having our videos randomly limited which happened again to me for no apparent reason so every single purchase helps so much you have no idea and to those of you that have purchased so far thank you so much it means the world to me this is a dream that i've wanted to make true for 20 years and to see it coming to fruition because of people like you means the world to me but let's get into it the hundred million dollar deal right over here so we're going to discuss the deal who made the deal and then we're going to listen to megan kelly actually interview that person while he actually makes the offer he's going to lay it all out he's being very transparent about this let's get into it so it was made by a company called valuetainment this is their symbol here. Let me make sure you can see my cursor. This is their symbol here, Valuetainment. It's a company owned by Mr. Patrick Bet David. Patrick Bet David is a great guy. I've been listening to his podcast for a long time and watching his content for a really long time. And he is an amazing person. Whenever somebody is under threat of their freedom of speech being censored or taken away, he's the first one to call him onto their onto his show and interview them talk about the whole thing so it's no surprise to me that he sees what's happening with tucker right now and wants to just give him <laughs> he's giving him a lot i listened to this deal it's wild um so yeah there's a hundred million dollar offer he put this right on his website show you guys here this is the value tainment website he put it directly on this site being very transparent about it you heard it here first patrick bet david has made an offer to the biggest name in mainstream media news, Tucker Carlson, the entrepreneur, podcast, and CEO of Valuetainment. Tuck, um, uh, Patrick Bed David made his uh, money in life insurance, I believe, insurance company. This gentleman is worth, I would say, probably up to $800 million. So the offer of $100 million is actually pretty substantial. This is not Elon Musk where he has $300 billion and he's spending 40 of it, which actually... Yeah, it kind of is like that, actually. <laughs> Never mind. It's actually quite like that. Um, but here's the contract. But let's see it a little bigger. He actually tweeted it out. Uh, this is the whole thing right here. May 2nd. May 2nd. He's actually... Uh, Dear Tucker, I'll get right to the point. We want you to partner with us in what we feel is a noble and necessary effort to define the future of media. Here's our offer. Hundred million dollars over five years. I'm, you know what? Before I'm just gonna let him actually announce this himself with Megan Kelly because it's way more impactful. This is Patrick Bed David. If you have not seen this gentleman before, and of course, I'm sure many of you already know Megan Kelly. And here is his announcement. Let's go. The names that are soon to come. We would like to make a public announcement. Offer. To Tucker Carlson, this is the first place I'm making this announcement because I believe Tucker's voice is one of the most necessary voices in America. And I believe he, uh, uh, at a place he is right now, we we have a feeling of what would be important to somebody like that that's at the top of the game to get the kind of eyeballs that he was getting from 3 million views to a week later, 1.33 million views. We know the world needs to hear that voice. And I know a lot of different offers and companies that are talking and offers they're making Here's what our offer is. We're willing to make a on record. I'll be tweeting this right after I'm done here. Uh, and it'll be on Twitter. It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on all over the place. A hundred million dollar five-year offer, equity position in the company, a president position, and a board seat to make decisions on what we want to do with docs, movies, specials, any other shows, and whatever else he wants to talk about. Podcast, show, all of it on OTT. But that is an offer we're making to Tucker. Tucker knows how to get a hold of me. And uh, 
We feel uh, he's a one center generation type of a voice, and we would love to have him be here with Valley Tame. We may not be the biggest. Obviously, there's a lot of bigger names out there. Uh, but if you want to team up with somebody that's got the vision in place, the cause in place, and it's a true believer on how great of a country America is that is worth fighting for, and the fight is a real fight because the enemy is real, we feel we're the right fit uh, to partner with somebody like Tucker Carlson. So you are the that's first place amazing. I'm making this offer, Tucker Carlson. I love this offer. Okay, now we got to get into the details. Are you going to pay the production costs or is he? Because I know he doesn't want to have to deal with that nonsense. We will pay the production cost. Ah, oh, Tucker. This is a good offer. It, it, he's going to pay the further production costs. You're going to make $20 million a year. You're going to be in charge. No one's going to censor you. And you'll have the promotion and support of somebody who's already got a huge, huge following, which does make a difference. I mean, I'm sure I've said this before, but I'm sure Tucker's probably going to get a million followers as soon as he goes online because he's coming, you know, straight off of his, the success of his prime time Absolutely. show. So that'll be a boon to him. But to, you know, partner with a guy who's got 4 million subscribers would be wonderful. And you're a great guy. You believe in his mission. You know what you're getting. You're not going to try to muzzle him. No, you, you can't muzzle a guy like that. No, no. Tuck, tuck. When you have a voice like that, you, you have to let that man free because he's not going based at this phase of his life. He's already made the money. He, he does whatever he wants to do. He can go hunting, spend time with his family, do, you know, go to Maine, be in Florida, do this, do that. Everything from here on, when a break like this is taken, it has to be all about the cause and as a person who's been to 40 plus countries worldwide, I have lived in very weird places worldwide. I have been very poor, a welfare kid on lunch ticket, and I've had the fortune of making money. There are certain people you have to let them loose, and this is the kind of guy that you need to let him loose. When he, when he makes a mistake, he went on, uh, uh, I think it was Nelk Boys. He was on the Full Send podcast, and he said, look, here's where I was wrong. Here's where I was this. There's a reason why he's number one and people follow what he has to say. It's not because he's perfect. It's not because he pe presents himself as a person that knows everything, but he's not willing to back down. He will fight, and it's very hard to find fighters nowadays. Now, Wow, that is incredible. I am telling you guys, Patrick Bet David, he is not, he's, he, he's political in the sense of he's willing to talk about it. He seems more like a Joe Rogan uh, position where he wants, he interviews people on the left, and if he has arguments that he wants to bring up, he'll argue, he'll debate with people, he'll do the same thing with people on the right. He's all about just having your say as a person. So it's no surprise that he wants to do this type of thing with Tucker. This is just incredible. $100 million deal over five years. And go over what he said again, because we actually have it here. Actually, I'll, I'll put it on the tweet because it's closer. 100 million uh, equal stake in valuetainment, a pr president of valuetainment and a board seat. See, the only thing, like, as much as that's incredible, I think that might be a bit much for Tucker. I think Tucker's going to be like, I don't need to be the president of this company. Like, just let me do what I've been doing, you know? Um, and then sitting on the board, it's like, <laughs> but you know, maybe that is something he wants to do because he has started something called Tucker Carlson Originals. And maybe he's been thinking about, you know, the way media should look and the way documentaries should look. And maybe this will be exactly what he's been looking for. I really hope that he takes this deal. Again, just like Patrick Bet David said, they're not the biggest. And their audience is a little younger, not much than what Fox's audience is. But Tucker will have a great home there because he'll become the star. I mean, like it or not, he'll... He'll become the entire company right away. He'll be the focal point of that company. And if he starts making documentaries, Patrick, like he said, he'll pay everything. He'll pay the production costs. Like, this is huge. Like, I have no production costs. Like, I just have my lights and electricity and this and that. There's basically nothing. The room I'm in, that's it. Uh, time away from my wife, that's it. But... A lot of these productions that you see, like when you see him doing his show, it seems very basic, but there's a lot that goes into that. You know, it's not just it's the cameraman, it's the producers, it's the lighting person, it's the it's the you know, if there's a senior producer, a junior producer, there's one that goes out and gets interviews. There's one that actually sits with Tucker and formulates ideas or somebody who's going and researching. There's a bunch to it. And all those people get paid pretty well you know, for one of the best shows on television. So for the fact that Tucker's not going to have to pay anything, he's just going to be showing up, sitting down, 
doing what he does best and getting $20 million a year to do it, pretty good deal, pretty good deal, pretty good deal. And then owning Valuetainment, for those of you that don't know, Valuetainment in the next 10 years will be something special. So it, may, it may not be like Fox. It definitely won't be like Vice. <laughs> definitely won't be like Vice. Um, but it's going to be there. It's still going to be there in 10 years because Patrick Bet David is not doing it for the money. He's doing it for the sake of having a platform that actually recognizes free speech as something that's very necessary. And he's a man that served his country as well. Patrick Bet David is just a great guy. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this offer? Do you think that Tucker should be taking the $100 million offer? Or do you think maybe Tucker could get, I've said this before myself, do you think maybe Tucker could get 3 million people to pay $5 a month every month and he does a show that's two times a week? The only downside of that would be is that then Tucker would have to pay all the production costs. He, it would all fall on him. He would be Tucker Carlson, but he'd also be the CEO and like the, the, the main operator of everything. And then if not, then he'd have to hire those people. See, the thing is, it's like he could do that. And he could make, you know, five million a month, five million times. He could make like, he can make easily $10 million a month himself. Is it worth it with all the stress that comes along with it? It's hard. It's hard. And it's really great to have a bunch of people that really have your back. Right? I don't know. I think it's an I, I would I would actually love to see Tucker do this. This is not something that I thought would happen at all, but it makes perfect sense because Patrick Bet David is basically a billionaire, and in the next 10 years, he will be a multi-billionaire for sure. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Tucker got an offer, and it's one of many offers, apparently, according to Patrick Bet David, who would know. It's one of many offers. This might be the best one on the table. Let me know what you think in the comments.